Welcome back. It is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso indeed. Now, our next guest is someone you do not want to miss out on. Now, with his work spanning six decades of relentless efforts to bring a practical message of peace to all, one person at a time, Prem Rawat has touched the lives of millions by presenting a practical possibility of personal contentment. Now, we have the great honor and privilege of hosting international speaker Prem Rawat with us today online. Good morning, sir. How are you doing? Good morning to you, and it's a pleasure to be uh, talking to you this morning. Uh, what a privilege for us, Mr. Uh, Prawat. Now we know, look, in a day and an age where access to information, you know, is easier than ever because we're getting information from all sorts of sources these days. Why is it still so important for us to make sure that we sort of mitigate the hardness of so many people uh, being able to find peace and clarity in their own personal lives? Well, the issue of the technology is this, that yes, there is incredible technology and there is incredible amount of information floating around, but how much of it is truly relevant to you? The pain and suffering that you feel, you feel, it is about your world, it is about your universe. And for you to have that clarity in you, so that you, as a human being, can navigate these waters. And this is, you know, we, we look at the technology and we get carried away and we go, wow, this is in another kind of world. But information has been there for people for a really, really long time. Maybe it wasn't shared at this rate, but it's been there. And today, what matters the most is that we are not in fear, that we are not living in fear, because all this information has not alleviated the fear that we feel in our lives, the confusion that we feel in our lives. It has not alleviated that. If anything, it has actually increased it. And mm -hmm. so it really requires a lot of clarity and a lot of understanding of the self to be able to navigate these waters. Mm -hmm. oh. And we need mm. all the help we can get to navigate these waters. Now, Mr. Prem Rawat, you break down conflict into three tiers. There's conflict between countries, between people, and finally within each of us as individuals. Now, having said that, what is the first step to finding true peace? And I think there's a lot of people that wants to know that because a lot of it's also out of our control. Mm. Yes, we all focus on conflicts about the, that happen between countries, the conflicts that happen between people, but we don't focus on the conflict that happens within a human being. And so much suffers because of that. A long time ago, Socrates said, know thyself. This is still valid. This is one piece of information that is still very, very valid. Because if you could find yourself in this maze of things, you would find a person who actually carries in them kindness, who actually carries in them clarity, who actually carries in them joy, who actually carries in them hope, and actually carries in them courage, the courage that is needed to continue on when everything looks like it's failing. When the horizon looks darker than ever, you need that courage. And you, as a human being, have that courage. So knowing yourself is still a valid point, and it needs to be exercised. And, 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 it's, and all of this is so true, and I'm glad that you're sharing this, but I think you know, you've got so many people sitting at home right now who've gone through the mm -hmm. pandemic, and we've seen all of the various lockdowns that have been enforced across the globe. They really have taken their toll on so many of us. And although, of course, you've had to cancel a number of international speaking engagements, you really have still kept us inspired so consistently with daily broadcasts on your website. How do you do it? How do you stay motivated to do the work that you do, even when there are so many setbacks? Well, uh, actually, when the first time the pandemic hit, I figured, well, that's it. I can't do anything, so I'll go home and I'll sit down, and that's the end of it. But then I realized 
that people needed hope. Everywhere I could see that people were scared of this thing. They didn't know how it was going to happen. So I pushed ahead and I said, no, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to take my message and bring hope to people. People should not be scared of this thing. People shouldn't be scared of anything because we have the courage inside of us. And so that courage, I had to tap into my own courage and go. And in fact, uh, I ended up flying for 200 hours during this pandemic to reach places, to reach different countries and reach different people. And I think it made a huge difference and I'm really glad that it did. I love that. All the courage we need is already within us. Don't go anywhere, please, Mr. Prem Rawat. We still want to continue to chat with you and, of course, get more insightful words and wisdom and inspiration on this Tuesday morning. It's my feel good Yep, welcome back to it, your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso. We're getting inspired today around reaching our potential and we're continuing our, our chat with the renowned author and life guide and peace ambassador uh, Prem Rawat on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This morning, he's standing by with some wonderful news to share. Thank you so much for uh, sticking around and sharing so much with us. Well, this is a pleasure. It's a pleasure to be talking to your audience and uh, talking about a very, very important thing, which is really you have every tool that you need to go forward. And this is very important in this day and age. Mm. Most definitely. <clears throat> and Prem, it's International Mental Health Awareness Month. And, you know, now more than ever, we need to exercise mindfulness. But what are some of your go-to methods for, you know, taking stock of one's mental health and putting that first in your own life? Well, the first thing that I would say that is very important about this mental health issue is there's so much noise. And the noise just keeps on coming and coming and coming and coming and coming, and there's virtually no end to it. And one of the things that we have the possibility of doing is telling the noise, I'm not going to listen to you. Mm. I'm not going to listen to you. You don't have to bother me. Mm. I don't have to be bothered by this noise. Because it's not a noise that you can just put earplugs in your ear and stop it. It's a noise that happens between your ears. So how do you even get rid of it? But you can uh, try to ignore this noise and move forward. Know what you want. Know that you want to emerge as the victor in this battle, not as the victim in this battle. And to do that is going to require courage. It's going to require lots of courage, but I think you've got to be very intentional around, you know, the spaces and the environments that you find or put yourself in. And I think rem removing yourself from what doesn't serve you or doesn't help you in that mission. Now, we know your foundation, I mean, has done some incredible work. We know you've got a cooperation agreement with the South African government to support schools. Uh, you've done so much work in education facilities to help young people's mental health and well-being. Tell us more about this. Well, it's been, a, it's been an incredible journey, making sure that things happen that need to happen. And one of the things that uh, we did when Prem Rawat Foundation was first created is we wanted to take the help that the foundation wanted to give directly to the people and make sure that it gets to them, not that it just disappears somewhere. And to do that, we have gone and gone into these zones where people need the help the most. And we have opened up food for people. We opened it in Ranchi. We opened it in Dhading, that's in Nepal. We opened it in Ghana. And it has served incredibly the people. Because you, you look at just doing that one-time meal, nutritious meal, has actually abated the need for hospital in that area where people used to have, just get sick after sick after sick, but they don't get sick as much. It has taken the crime down because a little bit of that money that is saved for that meal, now the family can use it. And so that has been an incredible effort. And not only that, but bringing peace education 
to all the people who need that uh, so incredibly important and has been just fantastic. Mm. That's amazing. Mm. And you know what? I've read one of Prem's books, the pot, uh, it's called Pot with the Hole. And I know that you've recently released a book called Hear Yourself, How to Find Peace in a Noisy World. Mm. What makes this more than a self-help book? Because I'm hearing that title and I'm like, I need to read it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, what makes it more than just a self-help book? Because there's plenty of self-help books out there. But the thing is, it is shining a light on the possibilities of an individual, not just concepts, not just ideas, but this is being written with real life experience. And so this is why it is so different. It has been written by, by me, the experience that I have had in my life. I started very young. I started speaking about peace when I was four years old, and then I took on this mantle to go around the world and bring this message to people when I was nine years old. And so I have learned a lot, and that has gone into this book to just understand that there are practical methods, not just conceptual methods, not just ideas, but there are actually practical methods that you can adopt in your life to make changes. It is, and it begins with you. And it begins with taking that noise and putting it aside. As much as you can do, because you know you have that courage, you have that clarity, you have that understanding in you. And if you can utilize those tools that you already have, it will put you so far ahead in life, it is incredible. And one of the things that really does stand out about this book is that you address some of you know, the most complex truths that we've got to confront and face ourselves. And one of the questions we're asking our viewers, our expressive family this morning is, what their daily words of affirmation are? I imagine you have our whole vault <laughs> <laughs> packed with those. Uh, what was your one for today? What was your words of uh, uh, affirmation today? Begin with yourself. Ah. Begin with me. Anything you do, anything you want somebody else to do, begin with you. Mm. You want to be shown kindness, begin with you. Mm. You want the world to be kind to you, but you don't want to be kind to yourself. You got a problem. Oh. You got a big problem. Wow. Wow. Some powerful and truthful words. Prem Rawat, I don't know if I can thank you enough for all the wisdom you've shared with us today. So thank you so much for that. Begin with yourself. yourself. How amazing. Because you can't be of service if you're not thinking of yourself first, right? Serve yourself and then outwardly that'll come across. Like I said, for me, I think it's just seeing. So placing your mind on one specific goal, or one direction that you've, what you want to sort of go to. Uh, wanting it enough. Grinding, which means putting in the work so that you do ultimately get it. And you've got to remind yourself all the time that things don't come easily. No. And yours? No, definitely. I agree with you. And it's also like I love how, you know, all the courage we need is already within us. That's and it. it always just reminds me of an acorn and a tree. Yeah. Um, everything that tree needs to become is everything's in that seed already. Ah. And I find that so, so powerful, especially with the courage we have yeah. or need is already within us. Ah, Prem yeah. Rawat, you have been absolutely incredible today. I think reminding us really to just zone into ourselves. All of the answers are with us. And yes, noise, it'll always be there, <laughs> but we've got a responsibility out. to block it out. You've got the remote control, turn that nose the nose noise. and noise <laughs> turn your noise uh, down and go after your dreams thank you so much prem thank you it's a pleasure pleasure being on the show oh absolutely incredible i would highly encourage you to get his latest book it's called hear yourself how to find peace in a noisy world